We got some ba- bad news, but you probably all know this. I hope you're all sitting down. But President Biden has COVID. Let's hear what what, what he has to say about how he's how he's doing. I'm feeling good. My voice is still raspy. Uh, I've had every morning, <laughs> every afternoon. <laughs> I mean, excuse me, every evening I get a full blown series of tests, everything from temperature to oxygen, the oxygen in my in my blood to my pulse to I mean, just across the board. And wow, so looking far, great, Joe. Good. That's Joe telling us about how well he's looked after. And you know what, Leslie? Um, I'm going to share with you something that his spokeswoman uh, announced in a statement. Consistent with White House protocol for positive COVID cases, which goes above and beyond CDC guidance, he will continue to work in isolation until he tests negative. Once he tests negative, he will return in, to in-person work. Now, that is so great. You know why that's so great? Because he's not treated like a normal person. Oh, no. If he were a normal person, he'd have to go back after five days. Yeah. But yeah. he gets to, no, to get wait until to he work. tests negative. Yeah. Get back to you work. You got to get back to work unless you're a special, important person. Yeah, so, but if you're a special, super important person for everyone's safety, you have to stay away a little bit longer. So the riffraff, get back to work. Joe Biden, take your time. Make sure you're testing fully negatively. Then you get back to work. Do you think that they think that people are just so used to this like two tiered system, whether it's healthcare or justice? that they won't be upset or notice that he's getting better treatment than they are? Or do you think they think that people are okay with it because he's the president? I think people, I think they know that most people who like him will just defend it reflexively. It's like, yeah. yeah. And, and that'll be enough to, for it not to be a controversy because everybody has been kind of brainwashed into thinking that Joe, uh, Joe Biden is the only thing standing between them and fascism. So they're willing to, they will say, oh, yes, you know, he does need to be protected. He actually should um, get all the special medicines and the, you know, infusions of, you know, uh, blood uh, that we can't get in order to live. Because he's the only, he's the most important person in the world. Uh, He's the only thing standing between us and um, fascism or Roe v. Wade being overturned. Yeah, right. Exactly. Or bad economy. Yeah, bad or economy. Palling, or palling Co- around with the Saudi prince. COVID. He's the only. He's really the only thing standing between us and COVID. That's why he got it. That's how Joe Biden got COVID. He was literally standing between us right, you're right. and the virus. And of course, you're going to get it if you're protecting America. Hit him in America. the face. <laughs> yep. Hit him right. Got him right in the face. <laughs> COVID was blowing. Man, blowing at America man. and Biden stood in front COVID, of it. I saw that man. And I, I just said, hey, man, cut it out, man. Cut out. Come on. Hey, that's a that's some malarkey. 